All right, so the Extreme Z Awakening details for the tech transforming Frieza have officially been revealed, and he's looking really damn good. So without further ado, let's jump right into it and check him out. And obviously, we'll start with the first form Frieza and then go through the different forms until we get to the Golden Frieza. So for the first form Frieza before the EZA, leader skill is Extreme Class K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises attack and defense, causes immense damage, and passive is attack and defense plus 80% and recovers 11% HP. At the start of turn, transforms when conditions are met. Now with the EZA, leader skill becomes extreme class key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, so a 10% increase. And then super attack raises attack and defense, causes immense damage, and lowers defense. And his passive is attack and defense plus 110%, plus an additional key plus 3, attack plus 10%, and defense plus 40%. When attacking super class enemies, recovers 11% HP at the start of turn and transforms when conditions are met. So major differences would be he gets 30% uh, more attack and defense from the start, and then if you're facing a super class enemy, then he gets the additional key, he gets a little bit more attack, and also uh, quite a bit more defense. So that's the first form Frieza. Now moving on to the second form Frieza. Uh, obviously leader skill is the same, but super attack is uh, raises attack and defense, causes immense damage, and then passive attack plus 90% and defense plus 60%, recovers 12% HP at the start of turn, and transforms when conditions are met. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, his super attack becomes raises attack and defense, causes immense damage, and lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional key plus 3, attack plus 20%, and defense plus 30%. When attacking super class enemies, recovers 12% HP at the start of turn and transforms when conditions are met. So a pretty uh, big boost over the pre-EZA uh, passive. As you can see, right, he was only getting 60% defense before. Now he's getting 120% attack and defense. And of course, the additional boost when you're facing super class. And the healing, I believe, is the same. So uh, yeah, there you go. That's the second form Frieza. Now for the third form Frieza. Before EZA, super attack was uh, raises attack and defense, causes immense damage, and passive attack plus 100%, defense plus 40%, recovers 13% HP at the start of turn, and transforms when conditions are met. So... As you might have noticed, right, like before the EZA, he was getting more attack with each subsequent form, but he was also getting less defense. But now with the Extreme Z Awakening, he's getting attack and defense plus 130%, plus an additional key plus 3, attack plus 30%, and defense plus 20% when attacking super class enemies, and recovers 13% HP at the start of turn, transforms when conditions are met. And then we have the final form Frieza, Pre-EZA uh, raises super attack, or sorry, super attack raises attack and defense and causes immense damage. And passive attack plus 110%, defense plus 20%, recovers 14% HP at the start of turn and transforms when conditions are met. Now with the EZA, super attack raises attack and defense, causes immense damage, and lowers defense. Passive attack and defense plus 140%, plus an additional key plus 3, attack plus 40%. And defense plus 10% when attacking super class enemies recovers 14% HP at the start of turn and transforms when conditions are met. So essentially, the like base attack and defense boost is going up with each form, right? Which is great. But this additional boost you're getting from facing super class enemies is uh, kind of going in opposite directions, right? So you're getting key plus three, but the attack boost is going up while the defense boost is going down. And finally, we have the Golden Frieza, immense damage with a great chance to stun the enemy. And then passive is attack plus 120%, but no defense, recovers 15% HP at the start of turn, and then key plus 12 and performs a critical hit once only. So the first attack you launch is a guaranteed critical. Now for the Extreme Z Awakened details, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, with a great chance of stunning the enemy. And then passive is attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional key plus three, 
and attack plus 50% when attacking superclass enemies, recovers 15% HP at the start of turn, and then key plus 12 and performs a critical hit once only. So essentially you're getting that guaranteed super attack and also a guaranteed crit. So uh, there you go guys, that is the tech uh, transforming Frieza. Um, I really like what they did with him, man. I really like the fact that he's getting that defense boost no matter what, and it's not like going down with each subsequent form, it's just, you know, attack and defense uh, getting higher and higher, and he's also getting that additional boost when facing super class, and when he gets to the Golden Frieza, that additional 50% attack boost is going to be significant, so um, he should be doing a lot of damage, that healing is still insane, and, um, oh, how could I forget his stats, he gets a massive, massive boost to his stats with the Extreme Z Awakening, and uh, before EZA, his max stats at rainbow status were 16,000, 15 HP, 17,270 attack, and 10,080 defense, right? Now, with the EZA, his rainbow stats become 19,865 HP, 21,274 attack. That is higher than a lot of LRs, guys. Like, many, many LRs in the game do not have as high of an attack stat as this Frieza. And then defense is 11,793. So obviously with the very, very impressive stats and then, you know, these like improved boosts on their passives, um, this Frieza is going to be very good, guys. He's going to be very, very good. I, I don't know if I can go as far to say as like he's busted because I feel like that word is being thrown around a bit too much, but um, he's extremely impressive. That's what I'll say for now. I mean, obviously, once I get to use him, once the uh, EZA actually comes out, we'll be doing a showcase, and uh, we'll know for sure exactly how impressive he is. Maybe he is busted. Maybe he is a top five TUR. Um, I can't say for sure right now. All I can say is uh, they did a damn good job with this Frieza, man. They really did. Uh, they addressed his defense issues. They addressed... Um, I mean... <sighs> There wasn't really too much wrong with him, to be honest, right? He has a better leader skill now. He has better stats. Uh, the defense, what I think was kind of the main concern with this unit, along with the uh, AGL Goku, who will probably get an easy A soon as well, hopefully. But um, yeah, this guy's going to be a pretty solid tank, or maybe a very solid tank. And he's going to be doing more damage. He's going to be uh, extra good against super class enemies, of course. And... I can't wait, man. I mean, we don't have to wait that long. The EZA is actually dropping in less than a day, in like 13 hours or something like that. So uh, I'll definitely be doing a stream tomorrow for the Extreme Z battle, and then we'll do a showcase right after. So uh, definitely tune in if you guys can. But uh, before that, we have the Tool Dokkan Fest LRs dropping. So um, that will definitely be on the channel first. So stay tuned for that. But there you go, guys. That is the Tech Transforming Frieza. Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about him. Uh, was he exactly what you expected, or is he even better, or were you hoping for a little bit more? I mean, I I can't really complain about this man. I really can't. I think I think he's awesome. So there you have it. That is the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video and. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.